My name is Anthony Cummins and today I'm going to talk to you about a Koga Ryu Ninja Scroll. Now, me and Yoshie, with the help actually of Krista from uh, Budo Ryu, tracked down and got a copy of a Koga Ryu or Koka Ryu um, Ninja document. So here's the front cover. Now, what we've done is, uh, if you didn't know, we've translated and published the Nimpiden, which we're now changing to Shinobi Hiden, it's proper pronunciation. And um, we self-published the book, but now uh, a publisher's jumped in and they want to take over the book and they're bringing it out. So we're doing a new uh, version, which I'll do another video on. However, um, so that people are not disappointed that they have to buy the same thing again or whatever, if they want to get it, we've inserted in there um, underneath the publisher's nose actually um, a, a very small Koga or Koka Ryu manual the one you've just seen now the manual is only six pages long uh, in Japanese pages if you will so it's quite short and it is based sort of 50% magic or what I'll say is ritual and the other 50% is all like inclinations towards skill so uh, what I'll do now is I'll put up this is what um, is actually in the scroll. These are the titles that are in the scroll. Both Krista from Budoryu and Stephen Nogiri have translations of this scroll, so you know they won't be giving it out the information until the book comes out itself. However, they can answer questions on the scroll if you want to talk to them. Um, however, this scroll, while short, has an amazing, and I mean. If you know about ninjutsu, if you're here from the ninjutsu community, you know about ongyo jutsu, yeah? This one, as you saw, has an ongyo ho, and it's the art of hiding. And um, these are magic rituals to help you when, sort of like, you're infiltrating a castle or an enemy camp, and somebody comes across. In the Banten Shukai, you put your face behind your mask, you look out, and you speak inside your mouth, which means you, you, you think about it. The chant of, the spell of concealment. This has a different spell concealment and it actually has instructions on a magical talisman which will allow you to hide from your enemies. Now remember these are back in the days when um, you know magic was a massive part of life and all. or less magic as in like kaboom but more as in like um, the idea of the gods helping you and uh, things like to hide from the enemies, things like that. So uh, the book is now available for pre-order, you can pre-order it it's got uh, four Ninja Scrolls in and this new Koka Ryu one is uh, one of them. So I hope you enjoy and uh, go back to the beginning of the video where our website is and uh, there'll be information for you to get there with some new downloads soon. Right guys, this is a special message for all my, I'm going to say friends, because to be honest I've got to know you quite well, on the Historical Ninjutsu Research Team uh, Facebook group. As you all know guys, I have, I've spent too much time on the internet, I need to come away, concentrate on videos, concentrate on translating and concentrate on everything else with Yoshie. So I am going to pose some questions to you at the end of it, some videos. So this question is to do with the Koka Ryu manual. Right, at the start of my research into proper research into the ninja um, I started to come across manuals that were magical and they were more towards the end of the Edo period and I started to dismiss the magic element of ninjutsu thinking mm. and with Kujikiri I didn't dismiss that from the ninja curriculum I said it is only one element of like a vast and it's done by other people so when you get people who talk about ninja magic and they only ever talk about Kujikiri there's a problem there but if they talk about it in relativity with everything else you're fine so my question to you lot is um, Koka manuals tend to be more magical and they tend to rely on the power of the gods to help them infiltrate. Eager manuals tend, and this is just tend to be, more practical. And this observation was brought about by, if you don't know, a brilliant bit. This observation was brought about by me translating a manual, which will be out in the next book, by Kimura. Ask Stephen, 
who Kimura Sensei is. Now this guy says, um, this guy says, real Koga ninjas are the guys that do the magic in the background. And that really threw me. And I was like, they do the magic and the people who do the tools and infiltration are the lower level ninja. Now at first you dismiss this as like, mm -hmm. but in context, I'm not saying there's no reason for him to lie, but it's not for anybody's eyes. There's no. It's only for his students to follow. And he's telling you that. Um, climbing the gate. He's telling you that um, ninja magic is the real magic. So that gives us a problem. The problem is, is the ninja magic versus fake ninja magic. And you're like, oh god, a whole new palaver. But he claims that Koga Ninja use more magic and Eager Ninja moves tools. What do you think about this? And how? can we start to separate the argument? How can we clear this up from these, what appear to be fake ninja magic, full of ninja magic, and you're like, are they fake, are they not? Or, are they real? Because I've just seen another manual with Kujikiri and Koka manual. I'd love to see that in live concert. Uh, with Koka manual, with Kuji in with, but lots of other things in as well, all magic. Why is it Coca just bang on magic and Iga don't? Now you're going to jump to the conclusion here that um, the Banson Chukai is a Coca manual. That is not strictly true. Actually, before you talk about the Banson Chukai being purely about tools and things like that, I want you to remember that the, uh, the Banson Chukai is probably uh, an Iga manual. And it was copied in Coca as well and they actually wrote Coker and the version we all have says Coker on it but it's not originally there are ones with Iga. Now also there is a missing chapter from the Bansen Shukai on Ninja Magic that has just gone from all versions that I've ever seen so it was lost to history. So there was magic in it originally. So I'll leave you that question, sorry for the length of the video. Um, please guys if you're still watching and you're not from the Facebook group, go across. Now there's a strict policy. Any booze you can talk, any talk about anything that is not real ninjutsu, you get banned. Stephen and John are on their banned trigger fingers. So, um, enjoy. If you must though, I'll listen to that <laughs> loads during while I'm writing these scrolls. Right guys, uh, I left the music on in the background just for fun actually. I, didn't, I was just about to switch it off and it was my, one of my favourite soundtracks came on.